Hi, in this video we're going to be making a system image backup of our Windows 11 computer here. And that way we could uh, make a backup copy of it and then we're going to also restore it once that's done. So to do that we're going to use the old-fashioned Windows backup that we've been using for years now. And you can find that in Control Panel. So if you just do a search for Control Panel. And then if you get there and it kind of looks like this, you could go up to Category and either change it to large icons or small icons so you could see them all. And so what I did, so I have a text file for before image, and I also have a couple apps installed here, so we'll see if they uh, show up when the uh, image is restored. Then I'll make another one for after we do the image to see if that one's gone when we get back. Okay, so anyways, so I'll go to Backup and Restore, and then Create a System Image. Okay, so now we have a couple options here. We could use on a hard disk, uh, from DVD drive, network location. So I have this... Um, secondary hard drive on this computer called Backup. It's a 25 gig drive with nothing on it. So we're going to put it on that. And we'll see if there's enough room. We'll see if 25 gigs is enough. It's saying it might not be, so we'll find out, but I think it'll be okay. So click on Next. Okay, so this tells us that the EFI partition system drive and the uh, Windows recovery environment will be backed up. Click on Start Backup. And this will take quite some time, so we will pause the video and uh, be back when it's done. Okay, so the backup's done, and now we have this message asking us if we want to create a system repair disk. So the system repair disk can be used to boot your computer. It also contains Windows system recovery tools, which could help you recover Windows from a serious error or reimage your computer from a system image. So this is up to you or not. You know, you could just boot from your Windows 11 uh, DVD which is what I'm going to do. So let's just say yes, just to see what the process is here. So I want you to pick your drive and then create a disk. So it'll probably just create a bootable disk. So you could do that if you don't have a Windows 11 uh, DVD, but you should have a Windows 11 DVD with your computer. And if you don't, it's really easy to get. So let me cancel this, close this. And if you go to this website here, which I'll put in the uh, description, you could use the, uh, um, Windows uh, Media Installation Creation Tool here to create a Windows 11 DVD, or you could straight out just download a ISO file and then burn it to a DVD or flash drive and boot to that and then go through the process. So I already have this done. I have my Windows 11 image file ready to boot to, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So this is on a virtual machine here, so I'm going to go ahead and shut it down and boot from the DVD and we'll see what happens. Okay, so one thing I forgot to do before shutting down was make my new text file for after the image just to make sure that it doesn't show up when we uh, restore the image here. Okay, so now we will shut down and boot from the DVD again. Okay, so you get to the Windows Setup and you just want to click on Next and then Repair Your Computer. Okay, and then we'll go to Troubleshoot and then System Image Recovery and then click on right here where it says Choose a Target Operating System. It still says Windows 10, so obviously they're using the same interface here for Windows 11, so maybe this will say Windows 11 eventually. Okay, so now we want to pick our image here. So Location backup. So this was my backup drive. I don't know why they're calling it C because it was an E drive, but that's the one we want to do. Okay, so we're going to, here's the date and time it was backed up. So we'll click on next. Okay, so if you need to do any reformatting or repartitioning, you could choose this option, but we're not going to do that. We're going to click on next. Okay, we restore from the following system image, date and time, computer name, drives to restore, the system partition, C drive, volume, and so on. Click on Finish. And it says all the data on the drives were restored, replaced with the data in the system image. Yes. So this will take some time to do, a few minutes to a few hours. I doubt it's going to take a few hours. This is not a very large uh, system drive on here, so it shouldn't take too long. But anyways, we'll pause it and be back when it's done again. Okay, so the backup has completed and the computer is now restarting on its own here. Or I should say the restore has completed and it's now restarting. 
Okay, so we've got a login screen here. Login. Okay, so now we have our desktop. You can see we have our before image a text file here, the two apps that were installed before the system backup, but the after image text file is not there, so that tells us that after we after we restored it, it's back to the state it was before we added that after image text file. So it looks like it went pretty smoothly and everything appears to be as is, so looks like it was a success. So once again, start, go to control panel, look for backup and restore, and then create a system image, and just make sure you have a uh, good place to put it, you know, either DVD, network location, or secondary drive. And if we take a look at our backup drive here, you can see that we have uh, 7 gigs left of the 25 gig drive, so the backup was pretty big, but it didn't take up the whole thing. And if you go on there, you'll have this Windows image backup folder, but you won't be able to get into it, get into it because it's protected. Even, even if you right-click on it and go to the properties, it's going to say it's zero bytes, even though obviously that's not true. But you'll be able to see the size of it by just going to this PC and you can see what you got left over there. So give it a shot and back up your system just in case uh, something crashes. And if so, you'll be good to go. But just remember that your system backup is only as good up to the point where you do it. So if you did it six months ago and you restore it, you're going to lose everything from that point on. So you might want to updated on a you know monthly basis or whatever feels best for you all right thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe